during the summer interface distributes fans to help lower the utility bills. The organization says rent and utility assistance are one of the highest needs they see. Lourdes Vasquez, NT Daily News. Beginning October 2014, universities will be required to comply with the Campus Sexual Violence Elimination Act, or SAVE. UNT will provide programs to educate the public on sexual violence. Lourdes Vasquez, NT Daily News. In 2012, over 17,000 people were granted asylum in the U.S. Funds raised will be donated to the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. The goal is 2,500. The University of North Texas and Otis will host Evoking Thought, an event to help educate the public on domestic violence and human trafficking on April 26th. Otis has helped 130 new clients since the beginning of the year from 17 countries. Lourdes Vasquez, NT Daily News. Flaviano, it seems that journalists have to report stories about school shootings and campus violence all too often. But there are also other safety concerns in a university community, and that's why UNT officials are making an extra effort to keep the campus safe. Sexual assault, a campus shooter, and severe weather were just some of the topics UNT officials covered in a seminar on campus safety and security prevention. You do have to prepare for the worse, and that's how you prepare, is by thinking of a particular situation that could occur, be it severe weather, tornado, hail, straight line winds, Thanks. UNT officials say warning sirens often do mean dangerous weather, but the sirens can signal other emergencies, and the campus community should know where to get that information. You know, we're looking at, at, at situations that are occurring, you know, on college campuses, you know, um, on high school campuses. UNT officials talked about being proactive, reporting crime, and anything that seems suspicious. Beginning October 2014, universities will be required to comply with the Campus Sexual Violence Elimination Act, or SAVE. UNT will provide programs to educate the public on sexual violence. Everybody's on the same page on how to be safe and safer around the UNT community. In 2012, the Denton campus had 199 crimes reported, ranging from theft to rape. 24 percent of crimes reported were cleared the highest in comparison to other Texas colleges and universities. Because I come into contact with students every single day, and I'm not really sure what my roles and responsibilities are, and so I really liked um, the clarification with that program. UNT has a care team that assists faculty with noticing the signs of at-risk students. The team can mandate personal assessments of those students. Flaviano? Some residents at U Center Apartments at Fry Street say their bill was more than $200. That's nearly double what Trent Bascom is used to paying which led to some cold nights. We just decided to not run the heater unless it was freezing cold, and that's why we're all wearing hoodies and jackets right now. The three roommates say at one point, they set the thermostat down to 63. Yeah, A spokesperson with the Denton Municipal Electric says, the increased usage is not unusual. I think the best thing that people can do is to sign up for an energy audit. Denton Municipal Electric provides free energy audits to any Denton resident uh, that's a Denton Municipal Electric customer. The roommates say they have a $30 monthly utilities cap, but they went over, having to pay almost $40 on top of it. So Garrett Smith called the city of Denton to check their apartment's meter, thinking there might be a discrepancy. Like the best that they offered was saying, you know, oh, it's, it's been cold these past couple months, you know, the bills are going to be higher. City officials of Denton work alongside Interfaith Ministries of Denton to provide financial assistance for those unable to pay their utility bill. But Dascom says, Simply lowering your thermostat to 68 degrees during the winter and 78 during the summer could help. Lourdes Vasquez, NT Daily News.